This is the Chapter 12 History Test. The first question is your essay. Explain what the concept of Manifest Destiny was all about. Please then give one or two arguments for support of this concept and one or two arguments against it. Number one. What were people who went to California during the gold rush of 1849 called? Trailblazers, Golden Doodles, 49ers, Californios. Number two, mountain men made their living as merchants, fur trappers, farmers, miners. Number three, among the first settlers of the Oregon country after trappers were the merchants, fur trappers, miners, missionaries. Number four, commander in chief of the Texas forces in the war for Texas's independence after Stephen Austin was arrested was Sam Houston, William Travis, Winfield Scott, Davy Crockett. Number five, what was not a part of James K. Polk's war plan? To seize California? To gain control of the Mississippi? To drive Mexicans out of borderlands? Or to drive the Mexicans from the Texas border? Number six, founded by the Mormons, which city did they settle in Utah? Santa Fe, San Francisco, St. Louis, Salt Lake City. Number seven, what was the one, what was one of the most popular trails used to get to the Oregon Territory? Mountain Trail, Oregon Trail, Golden Trail, Pioneer Trail. Number eight, Mexicans who claimed Texas as their home were called what? This is before the war. Californios, Empresarios, Tejanos, Comanches. Number nine, what philosophy meant that the United States had an obvious future to extend its boundaries all the way to the Pacific? Laissez-faire, popular sovereignty, federalism, manifest destiny. Number 10, what did the United States insist was the border between the United States and Mexico? Mississippi River, Rio Grande River, Ohio River, Nueces River. Number 11. What present day state was not a part of Mexico before the Mexican American War? Iowa, California, Arizona, New Mexico. Number 12, which people made huge profits, made a lot of money during the gold rush? Teachers, miners, merchants, farmers. Number 13, how did the gold rush ultimately help California's economy? People went on vacations. People stayed and settled the state. People bought lots of hats. People returned home. Number 14, who led the Mormon migration to the Great Salt Lake area? Joseph Smith, Jim Bridger, 
Jedediah Smith, Brigham Young. Number 15. In this passage, O'Sullivan describes manifest destiny as the right of, here is the passage, it is time now for opposition to the annexation of Texas to cease. Other nations have undertaken to intrude themselves into it between us and the proper parties to the case in a spirit of hostile interference against us for the avowed object of thwarting our policy and hampering our power, limiting our greatness and checking the fulfillment of our manifest destiny to overspread the continent allotted by Providence for the free development of our yearly multiplying millions. So again, in this passage, O'Sullivan describes manifest destiny as the right of the United States to expand its territory across North America. Gold was discovered in California. Mexico can keep their lands. Nevada should become an independent country. Number 16. What does the phrase continent allotted by providence mean? Land for the Native Americans only. Land chosen or given by God. Land along water. Land for whites only. Number 17, we have a timeline. It starts with the Battle of the Alamo in 1836. In 1845, the U.S. annexes Texas. 1846, Congress declares war on Mexico. 1848, Treaty of Guadalupe, Hidalgo is signed. In 1850, California becomes a state. Here you have in the middle, presidents. You have Monroe, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, and Taylor. And on the bottom of the timeline, you have in 1839 was an opium war between Britain and China. 1844, the Dominican Republic secedes from Haiti. And 1846, the planet Neptune is discovered. So, under whose presidential administration was the United States at war with Mexico? So, war with Mexico. So, Congress declares war in Mexico. Was it Harrison, Taylor, Polk? Or Monroe. Number 18. What was the name of the mountain pass the Mormons used to get through the Rocky Mountains? So here you are starting in Iowa, taking this trail to get to Salt Lake. Okay. What was the name of the mountain pass? Was it Hall Pass, Snake River Pass, Salt Lake Pass, South Pass? Number 19. What states did the Mormon Trail pass through between Nauvoo and Salt Lake City? So from here, Nauvoo, which is Iowa, all the way to Salt Lake City. So which states did it have to pass through? Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Nebraska, Wyoming, Kansas, Iowa, Nebraska, Wyoming, Missouri, Nebraska, Wyoming. Number 20, who was not killed at the Battle of Alamo? Who lived? Jim Bowie, Davy Crockett, Sam Houston, William B. Travis. Number 21, which group took the law into their own hands in Gold Rush society? Missionaries, merchants, vigilantes, Mormons. Number 22, the United States mainland reached its present size with the Treaty of Ghent, Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, Gadsden Purchase, Louisiana Purchase. Number 23, 
Number 23, what did President James K. Polk use as grounds for declaring war against Mexico? Attack on New Orleans, non-payment of debts, attack of Zachary Taylor's forces, or the attack on the Alamo? Number 24, what was the high point of the year for mountain men where they traded their furs and purchased supplies? Rendezvous, tribal councils, dance parties, land negotiations. Number 25, Santa Ana was captured in the Battle of Alamo, Veracruz, New Orleans, San Jacinto.